Welcome to Digital Asset News, or DAN for short. My name is Rob, and today, in some time of the news, I want to talk to you about how to stake Polkadot. And to do this, first, we have to go over a couple of ground rules. And the ground rules are very simple. Now, when we transfer any crypto to any other wallet, I don't care if it's staking or if you're paying somebody or whatever else, always do a test transaction first. And that applies here to staking rules, number one. Second one is we don't we want to know the lockup periods because there's nothing worse than uh, having a staking opportunity with crypto and figure out that, oh, I can't, uh, the lockup period is two years and you're just sitting there waiting for it. Then also we want to know the unstaking time frame because sometimes when we lock it up, that could be for days, weeks, or months, or even years. And after that, there's also an unstaking time frame for how long that could last. And those could be two different things. And lastly, of course, along with everything else that we talk about here, is take profits along the way. It's really great when you're accumulating all this crypto, but it does you no good unless you take profits along the way, especially in some massive bear markets. I've been through 2018, 19. Now I'm going through 2022 with uh, all of you. So we'll see how it all works out. But again, take profits on the way. Nobody ever went broke taking profits. That's the first part. Second part I will say is this. If you want to find out anything about uh, staking and which cryptos are great, go to stakingrewards.com. There's a link in the description. Stakingrewards.com. Very simple. It, it shows you uh, the top cryptos that you can stake for and how much the rewards are. So like, for example, Ethereum, you're getting a whopping 4.88%. But of course, uh, you also have to know that there is a, a lockup period, which nobody really knows exactly when you can unlock. There's supposed to be a uh, Shanghai update uh, coming through, and then hopefully you can uh, um, unstake at that point. And then also you can take out your, your profits, but who knows? Solana, almost 6%. Cardano, it says 3.54, but in actuality, it's around 4 to 6%, depending on which pool you have. We have one at DNews, link in the description. You can figure out, uh, or you can find that, uh, and we explain that as well in another video. BNB, Chain, Avalanche, and then Polkadot. And you'll notice here, Polkadot's pretty high, 13.99%. The one, the only one, the other one that beats it right now in the top 10 is Cosmos. And that'll be the one that we do next. I'm already staking near and Cosmos and all these things, but let's just go over Polkadot itself. So here's the overview of the Polkadot staking and what you can do here. I want to make mention of uh, something quite important. And that right here, it says nominators. And of course, there's another one called validators. What are those? Well, validators uh, in the uh, Cardano ecosystem, uh, those are stake pool operators. Validators are just the stake pool, the people that do all the work and they secure the network and where you're going to uh, put your, your polka dot in. Not that you're going to physically take it and lose your private keys, but that's who you're going to pretty much pledge to it. That is the validators. Nominators, that's us. That's the ones that we say, okay, we have so much polka dot and we want to nominate these validators and we want to uh, essentially give over or put in our, our polka dot to those specific uh, validator pools. And one thing I want you to notice right here, see where it says 39,853 out of 50,000? That's it. Uh, once they hit that number to 50,000, they shut everything off. And you can see right here, uh, you can click the little I right here. It'll say total nominators, accounts who are staked in the network, regardless of whether they are active or inactive in the current session. In order to stake dot, you must be a nominator and that's what we are right here. So once they hit 50,000, now they could change that, but as of right now, another 10,000 roughly, and that's it. And of course, here we have active nominators because through through each cycle, they call, uh, Polkadot calls it an era in uh, in uh, Cardano, they call it an epic. I know it's I know it's spelled E-P-O-C-H, but that's what Charles Hoskinson calls it, epic, so we'll call it epic. Anyhow, over here in era is 24 hours. An epic in Cardano world is five days. So one day or five days. And these active nominators, these are the ones that are actively, uh, they are staking. And they're, these are the ones that throughout all the different validators, these are the ones that are going to produce uh, the next blocks. And they are active right now. Also, you can see here historic rewards rate. Inflation, this is something to note, just so you know. Inflation, uh, inflation, or dot is inflationary. There is no maximum number dot. Inflation is designed to be approximately 10% annually with validator rewards being a function of the amount staked and the remaining going to treasury. So just so you know, this is not deflationary. Polkadot is inflationary. 
And then the minimum bonding amount to start on Polkadot is now 10 dots. What does all this stuff mean? Well, let's go over how we should actually do this. So there's a great little walkthrough how to use Polkadot with Ledger Live. So just so you know, we're, there's a different ways that you can stake it. I am personally going to use uh, my Ledger. It's the most, for me, it's the most secure. I like using Ledger. It's all there. If you have any questions about what's a Ledger, how to use a Ledger, how do you update uh, the firmware, how do you transfer everything, there's this website. It's called danteachescrypto.com. It's 100% free. Just go there, click on Start Learning, sign up. Just your, You just pick a username and set up your email. And then when you go to into the modules, it's be module number two, safety. And as we go into this one, scroll down a little bit, uh, I show you how to set up your nano ledger, uh, what's a public and private key, setting up your ledger live app, which we're gonna do it in a second, transferring crypto assets from exchange to wallets, deleting and restoring a nano ledger, and so on and so forth. So it's all right there for you. So what to know before starting? Nominating, which is nominators, are us. We're the ones that are going to be sending over, forking over our Polkadot. Currently requires a minimum of 10 dot staked funds on Polkadot. Now this could change. This is the most up-to-date information that we have. It used to be much higher, uh, 120, and then it went to 80. And now it's only 10. So good for us. Please make sure you're above the minimum uh, if you don't want to be able to nominate. Very important here. Not all nominators with over 10 dot will get staking rewards. That's why we're going to be picking uh, multiple validators. That's what's pretty cool here in Polkadot. Instead of in Cardano, you can only just pick one stake pool. Uh, with Polkadot, you can pick up to 16 validators or stake pool operators. And not all numbers with 10 dot will get staking rewards. The minimum amount needed to earn rewards is dynamic and can be found on the targets page. There's also a maximum of 50,000 nominators, which we just uh, took a look at over here. 50,000 is the maximum. Uh, in place at the moment. That means if there are already 50,000 nominators, you will not be able to nominate even if you have more than the minimum amount stake, meaning you won't get any rewards. And then important, in order for Ledger Live to work properly with your Polkadot account, make sure you've installed version 2.32 or above. And then go to the settings. And we're going to do that right now, but first I just want to read this last piece to make sense. Before you begin staking, please pay close attention to these important points. Do not bond all your funds. Bonding is essentially saying, okay, I have 150 dot. I'm going to, I'm going to bond them and I'll make them available for these validators. You can't use all of it. You have to leave a small amount in your account so that you can pay transaction fees from it. Changing validators, bonding more, or bonding your tokens are all transactions that will cost a small fee. So you must always have a little bit of it's like, it's like Ethereum gas. We'll just say it like that. Any changes you make will take effect in the next era. Remember, each era is 24 hours. So when you first stake, your rewards will begin to come at the soonest after a day and four hours and at the latest after two days. So great. So we know that up to two days. So don't freak out if you don't get any, any rewards immediately. It's okay. It's going to be all right. So now what we got to do is we need to do what they talk about is make sure we have the latest version of Ledger Live. So I'm going to share my Ledger Live. So I'm in my uh, Ledger Live account. Up right in the corner, there's a little cog there. It says settings. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to go to about. And underneath there, the version, we they want it to be 2.32. Ledger Live right now is a 2.48. That is the most updated version. If it is not, there will be a little button here that says update. So update that before you do your uh, trying to stake your polka dot. And voila, here I am, and we're in our, our uh, Ledger Live account. Now I'm under the tab, My Ledger. And what I want to do is I want to take a look at, I'm going to search for the app in the catalog, which will be quite easy. I'm going to put in Polkadot, and there it is. Polkadot, Ledger Live supported, fantastic. So I'm going to click on Install. That's going to install the app. And just so you know, there's a Ledger Nano X and a Ledger Nano S. X, if, you're gonna, if you have an opportunity, just get the X, because it has so much capacity. Ledger Nano S it's like three or four apps, then you got to get another one. So uh, get the X. It's a lot easier. I've got a couple myself and a couple of S's. And if you're looking for uh, a code, if there's a link in the description, you can uh, get one yourself. And if you don't want to wait, you can also go to, I know Best Buy is now selling them. Go directly to Best Buy. Don't be lazy. Go in there. Don't get scammed. And uh, pick it up off the shelf. Then also, I believe Target's also selling them now. So mass adoption. So here we are. We have Polkadot Dot. Great. Now we're going to click on accounts right here in the upper the left-hand side. And we're going to see, okay, what do I got? Cosmos, Dodgecoin, Polygon. Da, da, da. And I'm going to click on this little add account button right here. Choose a crypto asset quite easily. I'm going to pick on Polkadot. Click right there. 
menu, and then open the Polkadot app in your device, which is the one right here. So I'm just gonna scroll through, open app Polkadot, yes, Polkadot ready, all right. And now everything's synchronizing, great. Polkadot one, that sounds good, it's a good name, add account. Confirm, and then done, fantastic. So now you can see that it's right there. And also, just so you know, I could have done over here under my ledger, and then under apps installed, as I already installed, I could have just clicked on add account if I really wanted to, but I didn't. I just went to account to show you two different ways. Anyhow, so back to the account real quick. So Polkadot, I'm gonna click on Polkadot. No crypto assets, make sure the Polkadot app is installed and start receiving. So I'm gonna click on, you can, depending on your geographical location, you actually buy crypto through Ledger, which seems pretty sweet. I'm in the United States. Uh, friend of the show, Gary Gensler, doesn't allow those things. So not gonna do that. We're gonna click on receive. And this will go to uh, rule number one. We're all gonna send a test transaction. How do we do that? Well, I'm gonna have to go find where my Polkadot is, which is over on Kraken. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So account to credit, Polkadot, that's true, continue. Okay, again. Okay, here's my address. 12XN blah, 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 9AOZ. I'm gonna click on this copy right here because I'm gonna need it in a, little, in a bit. Address copied. And then once I'm going to verify it here, I'm going to look on my, my device, and it is right there. And uh, I'm going to approve that, and we're done. So now that I have my Polkadot address, which is in, or in my ledger, now I'm going to go to Kraken, and I'm going to send my Polkadot to my ledger. Let's do that. So here I am in my Kraken account. I've got a whopping 150 Polkadot. I have $9 as far as USD coin. And Doge, I have 0 0.05 or a nickel of 10 Doge. Watch out, baller. So Polkadot, again, whichever exchanges you're using, whatever place, there's gonna be some kind of button or some kind of uh, option where you're gonna send, receive, deposit, whatever else. So we're not gonna stake, we're not gonna trade, withdraw, deposit. We're gonna withdraw. We're gonna take out this Polkadot. I'm gonna click on withdraw. And it says only withdraw to address during the Polkadot network. Exactly, which is what we did right, right, right there. So Polkadot here, withdraw, add a Polkadot address. That's when the one we just had. And we're gonna put the address itself, address description. Let's put ledger, withdraw address. And we're gonna paste that in there. We're gonna make sure it is A07, I remember that. In the very part, 12X in, that is it. We're gonna add withdrawal address. Okay, the draw address needs to be confirmed. We'll do that behind the scenes right now. Great, and the address is approved. Let's jump back to Kraken. All right, so withdrawal amount. Now, again, I'm not gonna withdraw everything. I'm not for sure about this, not 100%. I mean, I'm 99% sure, but there's always room for, for error, right? So let's just do a test transaction. So I'm just gonna go with three, three polka dot. That's it, not a lot. I'm gonna withdraw... Uh, of course, there's a also <laughs> there's also a fee for that, but I'm okay. I'm okay with paying a little bit of fee if I don't lose everything. So I'm gonna withdraw 2.95 dot. Yeah, that sounds good. Withdraw 2.95 dot. Yes. Withdrawal successfully submitted. Now for this account, I do not have two-factor authentication open because I don't use Kraken a whole ton uh, what I, that I used to use it. So I don't have it uh, put in right now for the Google Authenticator, but definitely do that for every single account you have. It's gonna save you a lot of heartache when hackers come a knocking. Okay, well, let's wait for this. Let's jump over to Ledger Live and see if it got there. And voila, there it is, Polkadot, 2.95 dots. So we know it works. We know if we do it again, we're not gonna lose everything. So let's transfer everything over from the exchange into Nano Ledger. This would go to one of my rules, which is uh, the very middle one there, it says 0% exchanges. Try not to leave any crypto on exchanges. And we've all learned a lesson with that. So now let's take it off. So now again, withdraw address 12XN, 9AOZ. That's the correct one. I want everything, 100%. So I want to take off 147.12. Withdraw 147.12, yes. Withdraw, yes. And withdraw submitted successfully. So let's wait for that transaction. And voila, there it is, 150.02 dot. And we didn't lose anything. We did a test transaction. Very simple, very easy. Probably took about 10 minutes total. Uh, and that's what I recommend to do if you're unsure and you want to do it. Now, I do this all the time. I always do a test transaction even when I have to pay somebody and it works out pretty well. Now, 
let's talk about how we can actually stake it. So very simply, we're already in our account, Polkadot, so here, nominations. You can earn rewards by bonding assets eh? and then nominating your validators. And then we just go click on here under the bottom right-hand corner, earn rewards. And now I was gonna say, you may earn rewards by bonding your assets, like we just talked about. You keep ownership of bonded assets. That's the big thing. You're not sending it somewhere else. You're not sending it to an exchange, having it sit on the exchange where it doesn't really secure the network. It goes into your ledger where you control the private keys, not your keys, not your crypto. And that's why I like to stake within Ledger or if I'm using Cardano in uh, the Daedalus wallet because I am in control of my private keys, nobody else. And that's a big factor for me. So uh, you keep ownership of bonded assets, nominate using your Ledger device. Assets will be available again 28 days after unbonding. So that would actually take take uh, course to one of our second things, is, which is understand the whole staking time frame. So when you stake, just know that uh, when you unstake, it's gonna take 28 days after you unbond everything. And we'll talk about it again. So choose your validator wisely. Part of your bonding assets may be irrevocably lost if the validator does not behave appropriately. That's why we're gonna vet all of the validators. So we're gonna continue. And here's two options it has, available balance and bonded balance. So right now, I have 149.91 dot. Remember what I talked about? Don't bond all of your polka dot because we need a little bit to, to move things around. And right here, we know that I have 150.02 dot. I think it does it for us automatically. But just to be sure, I'm just going to put in 145 dot. And now there's two options, available balance or the bonded balance. Now here's how this works. What this means is as you get rewards uh, at 12%, 13% or whatever it's going to give us, uh, those rewards are going to go into your account and then you can automatically stake those with a bonded balance. If I don't wanna do that, I can just click on available balance and it'll only stake the 145. As new rewards come in, those will not be staked. However, they are available to me to take profits. If I don't wanna do that and say, you know what, I just wanna compound everything. I just wanna just have whatever comes in. We, it just kinda of compounds and compounds and compounds all the rewards, everything that's available and it just keeps going, going, going. I can do that, but remember, if you do that, you have to wait 28 days to unbond everything to sell it. So for right now, I'm just gonna click Available Balance. It's up to you to do what you wanna do. I am not your dad. This is not financial advice. Do what you wanna do. For me, just Available Balance for right now, and we'll go from there. So continue. Let's confirm your uh, device, the funds operation. So I'm gonna pick up my device again, make sure it's, uh, it's actually active, and it's gonna say, please review, staking bond. Controller, 12XNAOZ, that is my address, correct? The amount, it says 145. And this is all right here on my Nano Ledger. Payee, stash, approve, yes. And broadcasting the transaction. Assets successfully bonded. You will, you will be able to nominate validators once the network has confirmed your transaction. We'll get to that in a second. And great, that took like 30 seconds. Now we can go to the nomination process where we're gonna pick our validators. So here's all the validators. And uh, see right here where it says commission 100%, uh, that's not for you. That means they're gonna take 100% of your profits. They're not looking for nominators right now. They're good. And there's a ton of them right here. So you can take a look, but what I wanna do is I wanna dig deep into these guys to see which one is the best option. Cause I'm not going for 100, that doesn't make any sense, 100%. There we go, 10%, 1%. So what I wanna do is I wanna go over to this site. And this is polkadot.js.org. I linked in the description, so you don't have to search for it. Very simple. And these are all the validators, all the validators that we have available to us. And what's great about this is that you can pick and choose which ones you want. And remember, you can choose up to 16 different validators, and we'll get to that in a second. But um, there are some options to turn off and on, and I'm going to recommend you do these things. So one validator per operator. You see how on some of these, they've got uh, multiple, multiple like uh, Coinbase Cloud if they've got a bunch of them, here's Coinbase Cloud again. What this means is that uh, these type of operators, they have multiple pools. They have multiple validators. If you would like to do more of the uh, decentralization, then choose a validator that just has one validator per operator. So we do that, that will reduce many of them. Commission, less than or equal to 10%. Yes, let's get away from the 20%, 30%, 100% commission. That doesn't make any sense to me. The next one, with capacity. So with capacity, there's only so much as you can actually have 
for each of these validators. So I'm gonna click on with capacity, meaning that they have enough and I won't have what's called oversubscribed. And to make that simple, there's this little uh, oversubscribed little icon right here. So if you see that, that means that there's, there's too many nominators for that validator. And what am I talking about here is that make sure the validator is not oversubscribed. Only the top 256 nominators for a specific validator get paid. So uh, there's a little icon which uh, says when you're over the limit, nominating in Polkadot is an active role. If you just set it and forget it, you may stop earning rewards if you don't notice that some of your validators have become oversubscribed. Not a big deal, just pick multiple uh, validators that aren't even close to being oversubscribed. To make sure you're not losing rewards, keep checking your validators and choose the new ones uh, if necessary. And just so you know, if uh, there's more than 256 nominators that nominate the same validator is oversubscribed. And only the top 256 ranked by the amount of stake are pay rewards. So an example, if you're oversubscribed and your stake is a 257 or higher, you won't receive squat. So just be aware of that. So that's why I'm going to say to with capacity, I mean, they actually have capacity. They don't, they're not at the top of 256. And then recent payouts, I don't really care so much about that. You could do that. Currently elected. So remember that uh, each one of these eras has 24 hours. The nominators, they, in the background, they elect which ones are going to actually produce the block. You can do currently elected, sure. And then this one is, might be controversial, but I like this, with an identity. I don't know whose other ones are. I know that we're in a decentralized, trustless uh, crypto, but I'd like to see who the heck I'm staking with. So I'm going to click on with identity. And as you can notice, that these little blue arrows right here, these are currently elected. They are, they have capacity. The commission is less than or equal to 10%. There's one validator and they have an identity. Because when, when I click on this, like who is dwell I or do, I don't know who this is. And you can click on there and it'll pop up and say, hey, this is who I am. Uh, this is how much DAO we have, transferable. Here's our email, here's our website, here's our Twitter, here's our Riot account. Everything you wanna know about this so you can kind of reach out to them and go, hey, I have a question. Or hey, this is what's going on. Or hey, can you help me? So I like that one, I'll stick with that one. So let's see. Now we want to just take a look at the returns. And of course, returns are very, they're very uh, enticing when you take a look at this and go, you want it to pick the, the, the highest one. But if you click on all these, usually you should be looking pretty good. And there's one more thing I want to make mention of here. It says nominators. See, there's, there's two columns right here. Nominators, like there's 147,909. Remember, the max they can have is 256. So what this is, of course, since we can pick so many different validators, like we can pick up to 16. There's a lot of people who have picked multiple ones, but right now active, they only have 147 out of 256, but 909 for different eras, eras are all there. So all they really care about is how much they really have. The lower the number, the better, quite honestly. So this one's got 55, that's pretty good. And 16%, this one's 16.39. I like this one. Where are we here? Da -da -da. 55, 56. Titan nodes, all right? And the commission is 5%. You have all the other ones that are 1%, you go for that one, 3%. But I'm just gonna pick multiple ones. So Titan nodes, I'm gonna click on this. Who are they? Info Titan nodes, here's Riot. No website, but I'll take that one. I'm gonna copy this address. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna shift over to um, the Ledger Live and I'm going to uh, validate them. So here we are on Ledger Live, and once again, I wanna search by name or address. I can go through all these, but it doesn't give me the information like I just found. So I'm gonna put it on there, and there they are, Titan nodes, unelected. So I'm going to click this button here, and I'm gonna click on continue. And actually, this might come up if your uh, ledger goes into standby mode, so you just have to put in your pin, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. and go from there. Let's retry that. Great. Titan nodes. One NEB, please review, staking nominate. One NEB, one NEB, HFO, HFO, that is correct. Approve. There we are. Great. So we have our first uh, validator chosen. Let's pick a couple more. Okay, let's get that out of there. Let's take a look here. So that one was a commission of 5%. Let's go a little lower. Let's see what we can get. Well, this one looks pretty good. Stake pile, 1%. Although the nominator is 1265, it's a little bit on the higher side. Maybe I'll go a little bit higher here. How about this one? 60, 
741. Forkless, that's pretty good. Forkless Nation, the return is pretty high, 16.14%. Payout recently was in 15 days. Let me take a look here. Look at these guys. Here's their email. Here's their Twitter. Sure. Go with that one. Same process. I'm going to copy here. I'm going to click on nominate on Ledger Live. I'm going to search. And Forkless Nation, there they are. Selected. See how it says selected 1 of 16? Let's pick some more. And there we are. Continue. It's going to go to my device right here. Make sure. Forkless Nation, 1, 3, 1, NEB, 1. And just so you know, on your on your ledger, you can do this one by one like we're doing here, or you can just pick a bunch of them because right now it's got targets. Uh, one of two is one NEB, the Titan nodes, and then Tarkin's two of two, which is Forkless Nation, is one three zero Z, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to approve that. And I'm going to broadcast the transaction. You have selected value validators. Great. And let's jump back and we can do one more. And then last thing I, I will mention, I forgot to mention at the beginning, is that you see here it has total stake, own stake, other stake. If you see right here, dwell IR dot, the own stake, uh, this is what they have skin in the game. And I like validators who have skin in the game. I like what uh, they say, hey, I'm going to put it on the line just like you. For their own stake, they put in 6,382 dot. And then for other stake, which is what everybody, the nomination, nominators do, they put in 1.88 million dot. The total will be 1.8873 million dot for this validator, which is pretty good. But again, they are nominators. They have 147.909. It's, uh, you know, not too bad. I mean, as far as like uh, active and, and which ones they have for nominators. But there's one here. It's 6.3. It's got roughly half day seven. And they've got 1.8 million dots. So I'm going to go with them. Let's see. Day seven, email Anton on Nova Wallet. And there's their riot. Copy this and go back and do it again. So again, we're going to uh, nominate, search by address, there we are. And we're gonna press continue. And again, you can do as many as you wanna do. Again, we're gonna take a look at our you know, ledger. Please preview. Target's one of three now. One NEB, one three zero seven, one five CF, one five CF, the KPU, KB, that's right, approve broadcasting the transaction and let's view the details great and that's it so that takes care of what it is and just so you know the status of an active it'll be inactive uh, again until those uh, one one day four hours up to two days and you go from there and then just keep checking also another thing big thing to check on is just to make sure that you're checking on where it says oversubscribed and or slashed slashed is of course just like ethereum if there's a uh, some uh, bad validators doing bad things. I haven't seen any on this one so far, so it looks pretty good. If you want to make sure to see if they actually have it, then let's take a look at, uh, let's see, Dweller Dot. There's a little icon right here, a little graph on the far right-hand corner. Just click on that, and I'll tell you if there, was any, if there was any slashes right here. Commission, elected stake, and error points. So one, one more thing before I forget. If you want to unstake your dot, it's very simple. Again, you're in your Ledger Live account. Up here it says stake, buy, send, receive. We know about that. We're gonna click on stake. And right here it's gonna say bond, unbond, nominate, clear nominations. If you want to uh, unstake it, first you have to unbond everything. And I'll say right here, bond right now is 145 dots. I can choose to unbond them. I click, I'll just type in 145 and I'll click continue and it will unbond them. But remember for the uh, unbonding or unstaking, it's gonna take 28 days. So that's exactly how you uh, unbond and unstake. You do whatever you want to. But remember there's this chill period, which is, again is 28 days. That will conclude everything that uh, we should know or for the majority of how to stake your Polkadot. Again, I like to use specifically the Nano Ledger because uh, I get to keep control of my own private keys. I don't have to leave it anywhere else. And uh, that is it. Now, the only problem with Polkadot is uh, that there's that 28-day. That and it uh, depends on how you want to play this, how you want to do it. It's up to you. But uh, I think staking is uh, not a bad option to look into. Anyhow, that's it for today's video. So if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And that is it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.